Hello everyone, welcome back to another Toyota video. Quick update, the black 4Runner that I picked up a couple days ago. We went ahead and took the tires off, took a couple things, and then I sent it to my buddy. We did a trade off. My buddy, he has some 4A gears and some stuff that was on that 4Runner that I wanted. So he just brought me those parts and I pretty much just gave him that truck. But the main thing I wanted from that 4Runner was the 33125 KO2s. They are officially on the red 4Runner here. <clears throat> so quick update on the red 4Runner. I haven't talked about this one for a couple days ever because I picked it up and I pretty much just put it on hold because I bought a couple other forerunners. But pretty much this forerunner, when I bought it, it had a bad alignment. It was pulling to the driver. I took it for a test drive a couple days ago, and when I drove it for like after 10 minutes, it would start shaking really bad. Come to find out yesterday, I found out that my driver's side, the brake caliper was seizing up. It wasn't releasing. So it was super steaming. I went ahead yesterday and replaced the front, uh, both front calipers with new ones and also put new brake pads. Now it drives amazing. I'd done 50 miles already yesterday in the city, uh, stop and go traffic, highway. No more dragging to the driver's side and no more, uh, no more sticky sticky throttles or sticky brake calipers. So I went ahead and washed it, <clears throat> put the 33 12 fives on it, uh, spray painted the bumper, spray painted the frame, washed the frame, spray painted it, and cleaned it up and it looks super good um, besides the whole little damage here. So let's take a look guys, quick walk around. Let's take a look right here. So this vehicle, it did went to its side at one point from the previous owner. 33 KO2 looks amazing. Went ahead and washed them, <coughs> degreased them. Super, super good truck. The, the seats right here were from the black 4Runner. Went ahead and swapped that over. They're not leather, so they don't match, but as far as the color, it matched fine. I also went ahead and took the seat covers. <coughs> These were from that black 4Runner. <coughs> Put the seat covers on here. I ended up not switching out the seats because um, the one on the black forerunner was just as worse as mine, so I just kept my original seats and everything looks good. It's been vacuumed, shampooed. Everything looks amazing. Check it out, check it out. I'm starting to love this forerunner. It drives so good, it drives so well. The LED lights um, has not been hooked up. I might hook that up later. There it is, 94. SR5 Super amazing. It's really really in great shape guys <coughs> Body wise usually it starts to get really rusty around here, but body wise and frame wise. It's still really good Oh, and I also got the seat belts. So these were the seat belts that my buddy gave me So I didn't have to pull them off the black forerunner and I need to put those back on because the pass owner <coughs> when they removed these seats they also went ahead and cut the seat belts because I think they were using it as this, you know, storage as a truck. There it is right there. Everything looks amazing. Five speed, 3.4 swap. This was a 3.4 swap done by the pass owners. <coughs> so it was not done by me. Went ahead and put a big oversized mirror, phone holder. Odometer has been replaced, so that's not the original miles, 90,000 miles. But this thing is sweet, guys. I love it. I'll show you guys the engine bay and what I've done so far. I went ahead and changed out the differential oil. Front, rear, and T case. I have not changed out the transmission oil yet, but I'll go ahead and do that later today. And uh, besides that, greased up the dry line, the U joints. Um, I put new shocks on my fronts. I put the old front shocks that are pretty much still new that was from Black Yoda. I put them in the fronts and then the rear shocks, they couldn't use a replacement. So I might get some new rear shocks uh, for this truck next week. So as you guys remember what I was saying, I wanted that radiator from that black 4Runner because the original one was the copper one and it had like hairline uh, hairline leaks around this area and along over here so this one does not leak i went ahead and replaced this one already put new coolant <coughs> i also swapped out the round fan to the 
uh, newer style fan. This was from the Black Forerunner, so this is a bit more better. The fan shroud was broken, so I went ahead and just delete that because I don't really run the fan shroud. So new coolant, um, oil, oil filter has been changed already when I first bought this rig. Um, yesterday when I did the radiator swap, I removed the hose and I inspected, I pulled the cover off to inspect the timing belt. The timing belt is in great, great shape. It's still, it's originally the Toyota one. It's a Toyota timing belt and it still has the lettering too. So it hasn't been faded or anything. So I think this one has been done recently. So besides that, what else was I gonna do? I still need to check the spark plugs. Um, I like to always just do that. Check the spark plug condition and see how good they are. If they're not good, um, go ahead and swap them out. Valve covers doesn't seem to be leaking or anything like that, so no need to address anything as far as engine-wise. But I would love to pop out the spark plugs and do a little quick inspection. The accessory belts, power steering, and alternator belts are still nice. So didn't really need to replace that. Um, put new brake fluid when I did the front brakes caliper. I still need to bleed out the slave cylinder because I know that fluid over there is pretty dirty. So I might bleed that out whenever I get a chance. And other than that, guys, she is pretty much solid. This is a really good 3-4 swap. Not the best, but it's good enough. And it just needs a little TLC and a little cleaning here and there just to make it a little bit nicer. But, but for overall, it's really good. I'm not familiar with the Forerunner setup, but for my headlights, the low beam works, but when I flip it to high beam, it just shuts off. So let me know if it's just a light bulb issue or if there's something that I'm missing. If you guys are wondering what kind of lift is on this Forerunner from the previous owner, the front is completely stock, but you can tell that the torsion bar has been cranked up. It does clear the 33s, but at full lock and full compression, it will rub a little bit. So I was thinking about getting my grinder and my big hammer out and start pounding some, uh, some of the pinch wheel. <clears throat> but for right now, it's good. And then on the rear, the pass owner, they put some Land Cruiser coil. So that's very common. You can put stock, um, stock 80 series Land Cruiser coil on the Forerunner and it will give it about a two inch lift because it's more stiffer and higher. So that's what they have for the rear. And you can see with the torsion bar and also the rear coils from the 80 series, it matches up very nice. It's nice and level. It's not raked or anything like that. And it looks really good with the 33 on the steel wheels. Well, there you have it, guys. A little quick, simple walk around on my latest 3-4 swap 4Runner 1994 5-speed factory 456 gear i did went ahead and put this up on the market but again if it doesn't sell i don't mind keeping it because man i do love it and um, i can use this to bring my kiddos with me whenever i need a full run instead of a truck stay tuned we got some more exciting news coming next week and i'll let you guys know if we get something else but we got some other stuff lined up, so I'm pretty excited for that. If you guys got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys aren't following the 4x4 page, make sure you guys follow the Instagram, Nutty New underscore 4x4. And I'll see you guys next time. One last thing I want to mention is that, man, check out this right here, guys. Windshield is crack free. This windshield is in great shape. I'm, that was the one thing I was so shocked about. Amazing windshield and still has the chrome trim, which is really rare. And usually they put aftermarket rubber. Well, that's pretty awesome. See you guys next time. Bye bye.